Howdy folks, not Jay, and I've convinced the wife to play Gunfight Royale, fight to the finish in the wild west town of Gunpowder Gulch. And here we are, Gunpowder Gulch. We're uh, going to take a spin at uh, uh, Knuckle Duster's board game, Gunfight Royale, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. i got a couple of characters here. Looks like we've got the Tomboy. And we've got the old timer. Um, that is uh, the Mrs. character. She's the bounty hunters on this one. We're playing dead or alive. And then uh, for me, I've got the uh, I've got the outlaw. Nope, nope, that's the sneak. The outlaw's over here. So this is what we're gonna get going. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started and uh, af after each turn or two, we'll uh, let you know how we did. All right, turn one and the old timer came up to the uh, box here and looted it and ended up with a frying pan that frying pan is now protecting his buttocks. Uh, <laughs> then we had the outlaw come up and he decided to loot uh, right there at the table. And he found a volcanic pistol and uh, swapped that out. He swapped that into his uh, hand, taking his Remington conversion and putting that back into his inventory. Uh, and then walked over uh, to this location and um, was going to look at what was there but decided not to or well he would look next turn uh, so we're not doing anything with him just yet <clears throat> and then the uh, tomboy she uh, hopped the fence and ran over uh, behind this horse uh, and we'll hopefully be able to take a look at what's sitting up there and then lastly, uh, the sneak pilfered through the lab, uh, the latrine and he found a Springfield rifled musket and, uh, decided to walk on out and get ready to do some misbehaving. So there's turn one. Two and uh, the old timer has moved his way up to the cart. He's going to start rifling through, uh, the the cart next uh, next turn then we had uh the outlaw he got himself he came up and got his uh his loot from right there he got himself a 10 gallon hat then uh hopped over the counter and is going to come into the office or it looks like the bedroom uh, of the general storekeeper and then tomboy she got herself another rifle from uh, that horse right there. She pilfered it and started walking away. And the sneak came up. He ran, came up behind her. He was he started off uh, right here. He ran four spots because he, he she didn't see him. He got uh, plus four, so negated the move penalty. Shot her in the back. Well, actually. Shot her in the hip. She can't run and took four damage. So she ain't feeling good. Turn three coming up. Turn four. Uh, at the end of turn three, we were supposed to have gotten the Lone Rider or Trinity going. And he ended up uh, with a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Players with dead characters draw a dirty trick. No dirty tricks. Oh, we have not been doing dirty trick cards. I forgot to, we got to be doing dirty tri oh. trick cards. Okay. So we'll be passing out some very trick cards uh, to appropriate individuals. Um, but this turn, we had uh, Old Timer uh, loot, and he came up with the uh, Henry Repeating Rifle and uh, decided to drop off his coach gun and then mosey his way out uh, this direction to outhouse and then uh, he came over here and 
the outlaw got into uh, the bedroom office for the general store, rifled through, and he found this. She doesn't know about that yet because it's being concealed. Even though it's unconcealable, the old the outlaws wears a uh, duster so he can conceal anything. Then the uh, little lady there, the, the town boy, she decided she was going to turn around and shoot the sneak. Well, um, we won't go into too many details, but yeah, she rolled a 20. So now her uh, sharps rifle is, uh, well, it's a club. Uh, <laughs> it broke. And then the sneak, like a doofus, uh, decided, hey, I'm going to reload my musket instead of running up to her and, and shanking her with his knife. I, I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Anyway, uh, at the end of that turn, we moved the Lone Rider of Eternity up to a blank spot. We just have that many more spaces to go until the game's over. We'll see how much more time we got. All right, turn five, old timer moved up a little more. Um, yeah, he was right there. Uh, then uh, Outlaw was got moved to there. At the end of the turn, uh, she shot and hit the uh the sneak his right hand got wounded and he took a couple of points of damage uh but then he moved up and uh punched her in the head um and uh she took another point of damage and then when we rolled for the lone rider of eternity uh passed this corner so each character rolled a d20 the lowest roller took immediate bonus turn and that was ended up being the town boy so she reloaded ready for next turn so there you have it pretty eventful turn this time uh old timer is uh still moseying his wig finally got into the outhouse he's ready to search this next turn the outlaw moved into the bank uh hopping through the window there he's going to make his way over here to uh Pick the lock for the safe. So after reloading on her bonus action, the town boy shot and uh, put a uh, put a put a slug into the left thigh of uh, the sneak. So he can't run, um, but only did one point of damage to her or to him. And so his turn. Uh, oh, and he had been knocked down prone. Um, I'll get to why he's standing up again already in just a second. Um, and uh, that is uh, his turn. So he pulled out his knife and uh, he 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 shivved the the town boy, and well, she did. The reason why he's standing is because the uh, Lone Rider of Eternity ended up on the character with the least, or with the most wounds, least health, uh, was able to take immediate action, and his immediate action was to uh, stand up. He's going to be prepared to rifle through her body to see if he can find anything that he wants uh, or move on. So, uh, there you have it. We're, looks like we're going to be coming up to the end of the game here real quick, so we'll see what happens. We are looks like last to next to last turn. Uh, the uh, old timer found himself a Colt revolving shotgun, uh, and then walked out of the outhouse. And then um, the outlaw. Cracked the safe, and he's going to be able to grab that Yankee gold, it looks like. And then the uh, sneak got in there and found himself a Colt, Colt Walker pistol. Um, pretty good deal there. And 
the uh, Lone Ranger of Eternity only got up to the next to last spot, so we got one more turn. Let's see what happens. Into the game, old timer busted into the uh, saloon. Wasn't sure what he was actually going for. These weren't very good bounty hunters. I guess it. He, I needed a drink. Apparently, <laughs> um, the. Uh, the outlaw got himself the Yankee gold, which is an extra 2,000 gold. And then uh, the sneak got himself a coach gun uh, from searching right there in the middle of the, the road there. So there you have it. Um, it looks like, well, it's tied. Tied between the sneak... Well, my team won uh, because... Yeah, my I'll, team is only half. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the uh, the bounty hunters did not collect their bounty. Uh, one of them is dead for 2,000 uh, gold for the sneak. And then uh, the outlaws got 2,000 gold from uh, the Yankee gold uh, amount. So my team came away with 4,000 gold. Uh, team bounty hunter came up with nothing. So there you have it. Um, quick little game. It's a lot of fun. I like it. It is definitely more fun with more players. Uh, so we're going to be taking it uh, to Kansas City uh, to see if my son and some of the other folks over there will give it a spin with us. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.